Irrational exuberance hits the crypto markets. Large Coinbase wires are getting frozen, and Merrill Lynch bans clients from purchasing Bitcoin investments. It's Thursday, January 4th, 2018, and this is the Crypto News Show. It's Nick O'Neill for the Crypto News Show, and it is snowy and freezing here in New York City. Following Wednesday's spectacular crypto market gains, the global crypto market is inching closer to a trillion dollar valuation. All logic and math has completely gone out the window, and now we are witnessing a market exclusively fueled by greed. Need proof? Cardano, a company you likely have never heard of, is now worth more than SpaceX. Tron, a gaming cryptocurrency which has few partnerships and is equivalent to a seed round startup that would typically be worth maybe $5 million, has seen a 10x rise in its currency to a jaw-dropping $10.6 billion market cap. Unfortunately, many of these currency holders will be in for a rude awakening when they try to pull their money out of the accounts. Speaking of withdrawing money, Coinbase, one of the most trusted crypto exchanges, is seeing reports of wires being frozen. Just in the past 24 hours, I've seen multiple reports of $20,000 and $40,000 wires out of the company being frozen for over a month. Despite that fact, I know multiple close friends who are holding at least half a million dollars each in cryptocurrency with no concern for liquidity. They've been paying for all our expensive dinners with IOUs, putting a real strain on our friendship. Merrill Lynch has officially blocked financial advisors and clients from investing in Bitcoin-related investments. It's not completely unsurprising considering that terrorists can transfer money through anonymous cryptocurrencies, exchange them into Bitcoin, and then attempt to withdraw them into US dollars, effectively cleaning the money. I'd look for more banks to place restrictions on most cryptocurrencies and instead create their own crypto markets as we've seen signs of from Goldman Sachs. I'll be diving more into the future of crypto in upcoming episodes, but for now, that's all the time we have for today's crypto news show. Have a great day.